Hello everyone. I'm Ravi Verma, co-founder and CTO of Invents of Technologies. I have around 12 plus years of experience in cloud and software domain. In today's session, we'll be going through Kubernetes setup in AWS and our agenda will be this one. So installing AWS client, basically to communicate with AWS services and configure. Installing Kubernetes tools like uh, kubectl to, to connect with Kubernetes service and uh, get the information. Kubernetes cluster creation, and then we'll be connecting and getting the information. I try to get the information of the created cluster. So it is having few steps. So like we'll be going through these many steps one by one. First, we'll be installing AWS CLI. Then we'll be going to create the cluster one by one. So we'll be seeing, we'll be going through the, these steps one by one. So first let's start with installing CLI. So in AWS, we have to create a IKS cluster. We have a couple of ways. Today we'll be trying with, uh, with the way which is uh, mainly UI oriented. Uh, we have phase to create IKS cluster using CLI as well, but we'll be go Today we'll be focusing on mainly on the UI part of it. So let's go and download the tool. Okay, let's download it. Just let me install it. Just for install. Yeah, the installation is one. Yes, the installation is going on. Let's install it with default settings. <clears throat> okay, so let it start. So first thing so we need to, yes. AWS CLI is a separate tool to be installed on the local machine, is it? It's not yes, on correct. It's not on browser to uh, like mm, other, no. okay, okay. Okay, so basically this AWS CLI is, we can utilize for many purposes. Like we can communicate and create directly clusters and all using this CLI, but today we'll be using this one, this will be used only to download the configuration to connect to a cluster. So today we'll be using this uh, AWS CLI for only that purpose. Okay. Yeah. So let's go ahead and create a stack first, as we saw, like one by one, we'll be going through the steps. So first will be, so this part is done. Installing this one we did. Installing Kubernetes, this one we had done it already in our last session uh, where we were installing, configuring cluster in Azure. That time we did it, so no need to do it again. So we'll be starting with the steps of uh, creating cluster. So first step is creating VPC stack so that we can do. So we need to log in and come to the console, main console screen of AWS. Here we can search cloud formation basically or stack. Both it leads to the same. Results. Here we need to select cloud formation. So here we need to click on create stack. Leave it default for now. It is having many options, but uh, for today's session, we'll be going with uh, most of the things with the default options. So here it asks for uh, 
URL like where the configuration exists. So we can paste it. This one, the same thing I had mentioned in the slide. We can take that one. And this is a sample configuration. We'll be using that today. So basically it creates a VPC for all configuration or all Kubernetes setup and all basically all node communication ports and all this is required. So it does that. So it is having default options. We'll be using that. Okay, let's give a name. Yes, demo stack. Okay, leave it all those things default. Let's go ahead and hit submit. It takes a couple of minutes to get it completed. Uh, this one will become active basically progress done. So meanwhile, we'll be creating few roles that is required for Kubernetes cluster creation. So for that, let's go to console. And search here IAM. And here we need to create few roles. So the first role we need to create is a Kubernetes cluster. Basically, case cluster policy, we need to create a role. So for that, we need to hit create. Then AWS service here, we need to search EKS. We need to select this one for cluster. So EKS cluster, allow access to other AWS service resources that are required to operate cluster managed by EKS. So we need to select this EKS. Then next, so this policy will be selected, Amazon EKS cluster policy. And the same is mentioned here. So we need to create a role with Amazon EKS cluster policy. Leave other things as default. Let's give a name, EKS demo cluster. So it's done. We can see here it's created EKS demo cluster role. We need to create few more roles that will come later. But let's see if this is done. Okay, it's still, still in progress. So what we can do, create cluster role that we did it already. Then we need to go to create cluster only if the previous step is done. So this is important that VPC need to be created. Then only we can we can go for cluster creation. So let's wait. Still in progress. Okay, yeah, one more thing to mention. So we need to select before creating any resources and all, we need to select the, a basically region. So currently I've selected a North Virginia region, which is US East one, East one region. So we need to first select like in which region we want to deploy our cluster. We need to select first and then we can go ahead with creation of all the resources under that region. Okay, so what we can do. So we need to create a node role as well. So it's not like we cannot create this one, we can create it independently. So let's go ahead and create another role which will be needed for node group later once we are done with cluster creation. So let's go and create this node role. Meanwhile, when it is getting stack, okay, fine, anyway. So stack is created. Now we can go ahead with the creation of cluster. So what we need to do, we need to search here again, cluster and let's select. Sorry. 
search for ikes yes so here we need to go and create cluster we can give a name ikes demo cluster here we can select versions of uh, uh, kubernetes basically so 1.24 it's the default version we are keeping it default here the roles which roles we created the, that's why we created a role so we'll be needing it here so we just created a case demo cluster role so select that role and then leave all those settings default so let's go ahead with this you need to here we need to select uh, that vpc stack which we created in the first step so here we need to select we created a case demo stack vpc so this we need to select vpc stack leave all those things default and then proceed to next okay all those things leave default we'll go ahead and then we'll create cluster okay it takes a couple of minutes to create cluster meanwhile we'll go ahead and create our node role so let's again go to roles and then create role here we need to select ec2 so if you see here we have a few roles like ec2 container registry amazon eks and then amazon eks worker so these three policies we need to apply so we can go with eks as well so cluster okay let's start with ec2 it's better here we will see like uh, what all policies we need to apply so we can search one by one all those three roles and then we need to add it container So first role was EC2 container registry read only role. So we'll select this one. Then we have uh, two EKS roles. We'll use that. So worker node policy role and CNI policy role. So total three roles we need to basically total three policies we need to apply to this role. Let's go ahead and give a name in case demo mode role. Let's verify it once. It's EKS CNI policy, EKS worker node policy, and then container registry read only policy. So all good. Let's create. It's getting created. We can see here. So rules created. Let's see the status of cluster. Okay. It's still in creating state. It might take a couple of minutes to complete. Once that is done, then we'll go with next step next step is creating a node group basically this one so in node group we will be selecting role and then we'll be selecting what all the nodes like what is the type of the node like machine which which machine type will be selecting how many machines we'll be needing all those things are done in node group creation while node group creation we can do those things Oh, let's see.
So our cluster is ready now. We can see the status is active. So the next thing is we need to go and create node group. So in that we'll be selecting which type of node, how many nodes we want to create. So for that, we need to go to compute. And here we have node groups. So here we need to go and create, hit on add node group. So let's go ahead, give a name. Yes. Node group. Here we need to select role, which role we just created. So we created this the cache demo node role. We need to select it. Leave all those things default. Here we can select like what's the type of CPU we want, memory and all we can select it. So by default, we are keeping whatever it is default. Here we can select whether we want on demand or spot instances. Here the type of uh, Linux OS, basically. Amazon Linux we want or Ubuntu. Here we can select whichever we need. Here at the disk size, OS disk size, basically what is the disk of size of the disk? We want to attach to that. How many nodes we want? So this is minimum, maximum we can configure. So let's keep it default and then go ahead. So we'll create. Okay, so we can see it is getting created. Okay, so let's see status. Yeah, let's go to another terminal and Yes. <clears throat> Sorry. Okay, just find active. Compute. So currently we are not seeing nodes because that is getting created. So it will take, as we can see here, status is creating. Once it is done, it will see nodes, like two nodes we had created. So we'll be seeing that two nodes here. So let's wait for a couple of minutes. So you can see the status is creating. Once it is done, then we'll proceed to next step. Okay, so now we can see status has become active. So it means the node group is created and then we should be able to go and check nodes. So we can see two nodes are created of type T3 medium and node group. Under this group, we have created and both are ready. So that same thing can be seen from here as well, as I was explaining. So it's a node group and now we have nodes. Two nodes are created. So now next step will be uh, trying to connect to this cluster and get this node information from kubectl command line. So for that, we need to go to terminal. So all those things, whatever so far we did, it's all UI, no command line, nothing. The next step will be the AWS CLI will be using to get the configuration in our local system, basically to which cluster we need to connect to get information. So for that only we'll be using AWS CLI today. So let's go to terminal. And fire command of configuration. Okay, so AWS we installed at the beginning, AWS CLI. So we need to, first command we need to run is AWS configure. So this is the first command we need to run. Basically this is required only one time if we are configuring for a particular system. So this will be asking us a secret key, secret, uh, basically secret key, secret name and uh, which, re which region we want to connect, so for that. So for that, we'll be needing one programmatic access. For that, we'll be creating a access token kind of thing. It's a key, basically, access key. So it will be asking us access, AWC access key. So currently it's none, so what we need to do for that, we need to go and create it. So the user with the user which created a cluster, that user will have a default access to the cluster. It means that user will be able to connect to cluster 
and get the information. So what we'll be doing, we'll be going under that particular user. So this is that user, EKS demo user, and we need to create access key. So currently we are having nothing. So let's go ahead and create a key. So this is access key. So either we can download and then we can configure it or we can do it in, on the terminal. So I'm copying it here directly, access key. Now it is asking for secret access key. So secret access key is hidden here. So make sure no one has access to this, but it's a demo account and I'm just showing and that's why I'm just showing it here in on the screen directly. So default reason it is asking which reason we want to connect to default. So as we were using it our North Virginia, so we'll be using a region code basically. So US East one is the code so that we need to enter it here. US East one and format we can keep it JSON. So this is configured. Now we'll be downloading the configuration of uh, kubectl 2.2, which cluster it want to point. So that configuration, we need to download it from AWS to get access. So for to verify whether it's before it was working and now it's not working. So what we can do, let's run first command kubectl get nodes. So we can see nothing has been configured. That's why it is pointing to localhost and it is as there is no cluster running in localhost, it's not able to com communicate or connect to any anything. So for that, we need to run command AWS update config, the last command AWS EKS update keep config region and then cluster name we need to give. So let's give it. AWS EKS. The config region is US East one. Name is the cluster name. So we had given EKS. Let's verify EKS demo cluster. EKS demo cluster. Click enter. So it downloads configuration and it stores to the default location in kube config. And now we should be able to communicate with case cluster. Kube CTL get what's. So now we are able to communicate it and we are able to get the information. We can get like two workloads. We can see what all the workloads running, kubectl, get pods, name is space, we can give cube system. Yes, so we can see these are the pods running deployment. Similarly, we can see, so yeah, so, that's all. We are able to now create, configure, and connect and run a few commands to get the information. One thing to notice, like uh, whatever we created this one, it is not production ready cluster. It's just for creating and then getting hands on a real cluster, we can do it. For production ready cluster, we need to do a few more configuration. We need to harden it. We need to apply security policies and it depends, it varies based on need to need. Like it's not necessarily like one configuration will suffice the other one as well. So for that, we need to go and do further settings, optimization and all those things need to be done. So this is not a production ready Kubernetes cluster created. It's just for testing, we can connect and get hands on it. Similar thing we did it for our last thing, which we created in Azure. That was also not Kubernetes like production ready cluster. Similar thing had to be done like all those network hardening, security policies configuration that need to be done, then only it will become production ready. If you have any questions, get back to us on contact at ims.ai.
Thank you.